Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Today is Wednesday, March 6th. I'll be going over my recap for the day. So today was a really light day for me. I just did uh, one trade and it was from DHR. So this one, I like it. Um, I went it too short because um, there was a, I can see there was a, a kind of cup and handle on the daily uh, for this 125 break. Um, to fill the gap right here below, uh, fill this gap, and then there's a huge gap here on news. So I wanted to short this during the the days here. So when I saw this uh, break here, this market, um, this low, I went ahead and short this uh, retest of the 13 EMA, and um, kind of covered or reshort here and then just covered uh, all there. And it was just this quick small win of $22. Um, so uh, other stocks that I watched was BBTH. So this one, um, I'm not really great at or trading, like trending charts. So this is pretty much just a uh, trend and pretty much short squeeze from people that shorted in five and it was just trending because of that. Um, and also, um, I didn't really have like a great setup for me to enter long. It's just kind of dip and then uh, breaking high, higher highs, dip, breaking higher highs. So you could enter here from pre-market. So pre-market, it, it had this level here and this level here. So it kind of held this uh, level from the pre-market at here and then you could have bought here but uh, it isn't really my style and it's really early in the morning um, it didn't really set up anywhere else besides maybe here is where I might be comfortable going in uh, with your wrist down here but other than that um, this was uh, pretty much a FOMO uh, fear of missing out trade. Uh, I bet a lot of traders maybe made money on this. Um, just, you know, you could long anywhere here and if you hold it, you make money. But it, I don't think it's a long term behavior to do, to go um, to buy this ticker um, because it didn't have a really great setup, um, in my opinion. It wasn't really A. plus. It was just more, you know, Buying break of day high, buying break of day high, buying break of day high. Um, so it's not really my style. And um, if you trade this uh, enough time and you get rewarded, it might cause um, bad behaviors and you might um, end up losing money long term, although you, you still made money here. So um, another stock that I watched was Sprint. So I think after the BPTH. Uh, move a lot of stocks were like oh this is the next uh, next one so a lot of volume were coming in from BPTH to Ren uh, so I I had a trigger here that I almost pulled but I didn't pull so you can see this um, bear flag here bear flag break or uh, you can just call it a descending triangle so if this was an entry I almost entered short at 225 here but uh, like I said, I didn't pull the trigger and it kind of uh, broke broke uh, here and retested and then fade away. But this one here is uh, pretty much all the people that didn't buy BPTH or jumping into here was like, okay, this is the next BPTH and then it got dumped on. So you don't want to be caught in this, um, you know, FOMO here and then you get in here like uh, it's the next runner. But, um, so just one trade today, I was on the sideline for BPTH and um, RANN. Uh, didn't really trade much, but you know, uh, the markets is always uh, open, so you can always find greater opportunities with uh, higher quality setups. So yeah, so just try, I don't know, I, I just try to avoid um, um, any trades that are not great setups. Although this was in play, I don't think it was a great setup, um, in my opinion. 
Uh, there was a short setup here, but uh, I missed it. But yeah. Um, so as always, uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.